and bring it back in again. Whoa, spread your toes for your balance. Now, for some reason, I can't get this Pilates thing out of my head. I've even bought a Pilates lesson plan, so I should get rid of that, I'm not looking at it. One leg, keep your toes facing forward. If I face this way, look, I need to see your toes up, not like that. Bring the shoulders forward and back. And change sides. So let's do our sun salutation to warm up. But before we do, we must set the posture. So I want your feet facing forward, hip distance apart. Make sure they're straight and then I like that. Let's start a bit of a warm up. Let's start coming up onto the toes. I want you to start being a little bit more body aware. Push through your big toes. So your feet don't roll out onto the side. And we're gonna do a little bit of ballet, which is going into sixth position. You're doing it already. On the toes, bend the knees, down. You'll find you have to start to use here to do it. Because you don't want your knees to go too far forward. Took the bottom under. So watch your knees. Don't let them come together. Can you feel things warming up here? All right, back to normal now. Arms in the air and down. <laughs> One more and hold at the top on your toes. Squeeze your head with your arms and take your shoulders away from your arms. Take a deep breath in. Turn your palms and lower down. Take your arms to the shoulders. Now when you get here, let's go to tabletop. So when you've folded and you've checked your position, just lower your head. So there is no strain on the back of your neck. And put your arms or your hands just below your knees. <coughs> just check the feet, make sure that they're facing forward still because they can be crafty and they could open out. Now try and get your bottom on the wall behind you and the crown of your head on the wall in front of you. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Breathe in. Glide your hands down your legs and then let your head go. This is the best bit. Just hang and rock. As you rock forward, imagine that your toes are spreading out. And you can actually start to feel all the back of your legs stretching and opening out. If you've already had your exercise for this morning and this is your stretch out, then it's all good. Just let the head go so the crown of your head is facing the floor. It may, depending on what you've done this week exercise-wise, you might even feel this going up into the glutes. Now bend your knees, take a deep breath in and rise up. Breathe out as you bend your knees and look to the ceiling. Stand tall. And let's Brady Bunch again, all the way down this time. Have you noticed you're lower than the first time? So we're going to put a bit of a spine twist on it and I want you to put both hands on one leg. If you have your hands on your right leg, try and get your chest onto your right knee and vice versa. If you've got your hands on your left leg, try and get your chest onto your left knee. Hands on the right leg, arms in the air. Just that right arm in the air. Keep the knees the same. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, let's change to the other side. Remember, you're still trying to get your chest onto your knee. Hand back down. Bend your knees, breathe in and rise. Breathe out as you lean back. Now your last one. Arms next to the ears. Press to your belly button to your spine. Take a deep breath in and come to tabletop. This is a really challenging move but you'll get there if you're not there already. Try and go for your flat back. Try to glue your ears to your arms. Press it in the belly button, and although the legs are straight, the knees are soft. Breathe in, and all the way down. Now, if your hands are on the floor, in fact, everybody, bend your knees to put your hands on the floor. Glue your hands to the floor, take a deep breath in, and try to straighten your legs. When I say try, 
I mean, you don't have to get all the way. Because what I don't want you to do is go, oh, I can't keep my hands on the floor. I want you to glue them. If you can't quite straighten your legs, you're feeling it here. If this was easy, what I want you to now do, <coughs> excuse me, is turn your hands round. So your fingers are facing the back of the room. If this is easy, walk your hands back. You're only doing this if you can put your hands flat and your legs are straight. Otherwise, your hands stay here. And breathing it through. Bend your knees, take a deep breath in, and rise. Bring those hands down. So before we go into the sun salutation, just a quick note on that. I would prefer that you work your way through and progress rather than you try and keep up with the Joneses. Case in point, this. I see this happen so much. People go, yeah, but I can't put my hands on the floor. Bend your knees. Yeah, but then I can't straighten my legs. That's the idea. Because as you're trying to lift your bottom, you're feeling all of this. If you're stood here like this, you're not getting that workout, not getting the workout that you want. Right now, because it's yoga, stand to the front of your mat. Let me try a diagonal this morning and see how that one works. Standing to the front of your mat, feet hip distance apart, take a deep breath in and squeeze your head with your arms. Breathe in, lean back slightly, and now let's turn. Turn the palms as we go all the way down. Bend your knees to put your hands on the floor and step back with your right leg. Nice and long. This front foot, imagine that's what your toes look like, all spread out. Press through your big toes, your back heel up to the ceiling. Arms next to your ears. Now push through this back heel, so you've got a straight leg. Did you see from here to here? And when you do that, you will feel every single muscle in that leg. Now put your hands down and take your leg to the back. Did you see I automatically put my hand underneath my shoulder? Remember, fist action. I'm going with fists today. Pressed it in my belly button, so I'm not like that. I'm like that. And when I lower down, my chest touches the floor before my tummy. And then thumbs on ribs to breathe in and bringing it up again. <sighs> Just let those hips go. Breathe in, sit back in your pose of a child, pushing your hands into the mat. The reason you're pushing your hands into the mat is so you can really feel that stretch across here. If you want to get a little bit more from it, try and get your chin or your nose on your knee. And then let's change sides. Back to the centre, breathe in, scoop it through. Head down, put your thumbs on your bottom ribs, breathe in and coming up. Pull those shoulders away. Here's an option for you. Your low impact option, you've got your elbows underneath your shoulders and you're lifting your chest. Either option, you're trying to grow your neck and let the sun shine from your chest. Now, connect your toes because we're coming up in the awesome down dog. So you can go from here or you can go from your knees. Let me quickly show you both options. So this is from your knees. And this is from flat. So I'm going to hold on here because I don't like the idea that I would slip on here. <laughs> up to you. Your choice. When you're up here, press through your heels. Press those heels down into the mat. So you can feel the stretch at the back of your legs. So I'm just grabbing the mat now to make sure I don't slip. However, however, I'm not putting too much effort into it it's the first round. Now bend your knees, put your left knee down on the floor and your right foot to the front of the mat. Spread those toes again. Breathe in, breathe out. <coughs> and the reason you're spreading your toes is so the knee doesn't wobble. We need it stable. And the more you bring this hip forward, the more of a hip flexor stretch you're going to get. Breathe in, 
hands down. Let's bring that back leg in. To breathe in and rise. Breathe out. One more for look. Stand tall, squeeze your head. And all the way down. Bring those shoulders out of your ears. Let's have a little bit of an upper back stretch. Bend your knees. Hold your elbows behind your legs. Breathe in and try to straighten your legs. Just let your head go down. Now, don't worry if your legs are not straight because this is not about your legs. This is about your upper back. If your legs are straight and this is super easy, here's what you do. Keep hold of the elbows and then try and ease your, your chest away from your knees. So, there's you getting close and there's you easing away. Bend your knees and release. Take that left leg all the way to the back. Nice and straight. Remember what we're saying? Push through the big heel, the back heel, spread every toe, straight back leg, and we come up. Arms next to the ears and take the shoulders away from the ears. Breathe in, hands down, leg to the back. Now, are you going to test yourself? You can put your knees down, or you can come with me. Let's do this for eight. Everybody for eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah. Thumbs on ribs to come up. Or oh, we've got the sphinx. Or on your fists. Depending on how you're feeling today. That's a really nice back stretch there. Take a deep breath in and sit back. I forgot to put my mood lighting on this morning. I might just like brush off and do it because it's plugged in <laughs> oh that feels nice breathe in scoop it through again thumbs on your ribs to bring it up connect your toes down dog straight into that now you can give a little bit more to it push through your heels so you can feel it yeah Breathe in and bend your knees. Put your right knee down on the floor and bring your left foot through all the way. That's it. Make sure you've got 90 degrees or more on this thigh, on this leg. What I don't want to see is that. It makes me cringe. There's so much weight on there and pressure that's really not needed. And this is more comfortable. Arms in the air, ladies and gentlemen. Shoulders away from your ears. Breathe in, hands down. Let's bring that back leg in. To breathe in and rise. Breathe out as you lean back and relax. Do a bit of a Zumba shake. Grab a quick drink if you'd like. Once again, because we're going lengthways. I'll take these socks off. Lengthways, because we're going to work on the back of the leg going up into the sciatic area and also a little bit of the spine as well. The majority of us do have back niggles, so this is gonna help quite a few people, hopefully. Let's have the feet quite wide, facing forward. What I don't want is that. So, what's wrong with this picture? Everything's all slumped. So lift your head, roll your shoulders, see the upper body's looking better already, and straighten those legs, just don't lock your knees. So you might think my legs are straight, but actually when I look at them, they're like that. Press through the big toe and the little toe. There, arms out. Now take the shoulders out of your ears. First of all, I want you to turn your right foot. Okay, now turn the palms. Put the hand behind the leg, arm up into the air. And we're going for a triangle. Now what I want you to do is not to stick your bum out. Don't stick your bum out. So what we don't want is that. Arms going forward, bums going back. What we're looking for is a gliding down a wall. Now, this isn't about having your hand on the floor. If your hand is on the floor and your bottom is out, 
you, you've got it wrong. The work is in the progression. <sighs> and so is the satisfaction. Every time you breathe out, we're sliding a bit further down, but you're not gonna gain much from this. When we come back to this side, that's when the magic happens. Now, bend your knee, just to make it a little bit easier to bring it up. Bring the foot to the front, arms out, and let's go down all the way. <coughs> now keep your hands here. Straight from the shoulder, put your right arm in the air. Turn your body to look at it. So not just your eyes, your whole body. Imagine you're trying to get your chest on the ceiling. Breathe in. And we breathe out to change hands. Bring it back. Bend your knees, arms out, and uncurl. Roll those shoulders back. Move over here slightly. Now turn this foot. So the feet are on right angles. So when I'm looking at my feet, this is my right foot, that's my left, it's saying three o'clock. If you've got it the other way around, then yes, you want to be saying nine. Let's go back to our technique. Bottom under, roll those shoulders back, arms, Turn the palms to me, and then six o'clock, off you go. <coughs> Keeping your bottom tucked under. So this is a much tighter side. I'm just gonna rest my hand on my leg, never on my knee. I'm gonna rest it on my leg, because it'll take some of the pressure, so I don't have to worry too much, and then just slowly ease it down. Still trying to keep this arm up at 12. There we go. Breathe in, bend into the knee to bring it round to the front. Arms here, breathe in, let's go down. Now I want you to put your hands on the floor. Literally on the floor, not on your mat. If you're on the carpet, just put, so put your hands one foot in front of you. Spread the fingers, thumbs are touching. Now walk out. How far can you walk out? Keep your hands on the floor, so there's a bit of pressure on there. Think about the big toes and the little toes. Now what I want you to do is just to bend your elbows. It's up to you, remember, this is your workout. You are responsible for your body. Let's bring those elbows down. What you can do is put a lot of weight on your hands so it's not too much on the inside of the legs. It's not about getting your head on the floor, but if you do, super. If you don't, you will do, in time. Now take the weight back onto your hands and let's walk those feet in. Ooh, to a wide stance. Bend the knees, arms out, and curl. Mm. There's your Tina Parkinson. Now, yeah. let's turn that foot. There we go. Turn the palms. Let's do it again. Look, you are jelly. How awesome is that? It's like this magical quick fix. You are so much further and your bottom is under, isn't it? You can feel your stretch here. You can feel it there. You can feel the work around here. Ah. <sighs> Breathe in, bend your knee, and to the front. Let's change sides. Well, don't you worry, we're coming back to the middle again. I'm just all excited about this amazing triangle. And let's go. All right, now, this might be a tighter side, so concentrate on keeping your bottom under. And do you know what was stopping you before? It's just morning tightness, that's all. And we're getting rid of it. Breathe in, bend the knee. Warrior two, awesome. To the front. Let's go down again. We're going to do the splits today. Which is interesting because I can't do them. Now, hands on the front edge of your mat. So the tips of your fingers, the front edge of your mat. Take your feet to the middle of the mat. And don't get cramp. <laughs> 
Right, so you've got your feet in the middle of the mat, one here and one here. You've got the tips of your fingers on the front of the mat. Put some weight onto the hands. <coughs> there you go, cramp gone. Now let's do the same thing, pressing through the toes, every single toe, bend your elbows. How low can you go? Can you feel the stretch on the inside of the thighs? I should hope so. <laughs> Hold it there, keep it going, that's it. There's a particular lady that I follow on Instagram and I saw her stretching yesterday. She was sat in the splits, a resistance band on her foot went round the back and on there I thought, oh, I might give that a try today with a very large resistance band. All right, let's walk the feet in, bend the knees, arms out, and curl. Change sides. Let's go. Mm. You notice every single time you get further and further and further. <sighs> and warrior two. Take it down. Now let's walk the hands over to the right leg. So we've done this stretch already. This is just a little bit deeper. You're going to love this if you've got any back niggles in the sciatic area. You will. Also, we get a bit of a spine twist too. So both hands on your right leg. Wrap the hands around the back of the ankle. Try to get your chest onto your knee and then put the arm in the air. So right leg, right arm. Take a deep breath in. And we walk it over to the other side. Don't worry, if you thought I was just getting into that, we'll go back. Because I could just feel it hitting those glutes. So wrapping the arms, trying to get the chest on the knee, and then the arm in the air. If your hands are on your left leg, it's your left arm in the air. That's so intense. Breathe in, back to the middle. Now your next split move. Point your finger, your index finger to the arch in your foot and then walk your feet out. Keep the hands where they are. When you've done that, you see you might not have gone as wide as before, but that's all good. Bend your elbows and touch your elbows to your legs. So there, I'm literally touching my legs. Look at the back of your mat. Now bring those hands forward. Walk your feet in. Much easier to do now, isn't it? Bend your knees. Breathe in and rise. Breathe out. As you lean backwards. And scrape it down. Give a bit of a shake and have a drink. You've done quite well there. Before we go down, we're actually going to do one more back sciatic area stretch. And we did it, I think it was week before last. We're going to do the chair. Now I think that the back of your legs totally warmed up so we're not having any preamble whatsoever. Options, poof. Put your hand on your poof or your sofa. You can put your foot there and then when you get down here, you can then put the ankle onto the thigh. So that's what we're going for, ankle on the thigh. Don't have it low down on the knee. Alternative, you can go down with balance. Aim to get your chest onto your leg. And then when you're there and the hands are on the floor or your poof or your sofa, start to adjust this, bringing the ankle closer and closer to the thigh rather than hanging over. When you're there then, if you look, my back's quite rounded. I'm going to try and flatten it out. Oh my Lord. The more you try and push your chest forward, the more you feel that stretch in the glute area. 
and I can't take any more, can't bring that up. That is an awesome one all the way here. I know I've got the tight glutes into the hams. Some of you might have felt it there, some of you might have felt it here, some here. But it's good for everybody, so let's do the other side. I've got this over here and sitting down. Oh my goodness, it's 8.27. Uh, so then trying to push the chest forward. What a feeling. Awesome. We need to do this every day. Glute stretch and push that chest forward. Shake it out. Now, let's come down onto the mat. Let's have a Pilates roll down. No better way to get down to the floor. Feet facing forward. Roll those shoulders back. Chin in your chest. Let's go. All the way. Let's go into a cat stretch. So on your fists, knees underneath the hips. Touch your ears with your arms, belly to floor, chin up. Oh, that feels good in the bottom of the back. And again. And so I'm working on trying to get quite a decent arch going on. And again. And come back into a pose of a child, hands on your back, bring the head down. And then bring the hands to the front, push your hands into the mat, so we're trying to get your bottom onto your heels. Now, a PT client pointed out to me a while back that this is actually a genetics thing. We've done studies. Ladies of colour find it very hard to get down here. White ladies, not a problem. They've got chest to floor, bum on the feet. It's a strange one. And maybe it's because our thighs are so shapely. Who knows? Now, sit down on your bottom. Bring this out here. Lift your chest. Two arms and actually turn your chest to the foot. If you're not quite touching the foot, hands underneath and bring it down. If you'd notice, I want you to keep your hands at the same level. This takes away totally from your stretch. Bring it here. And now, push that chest forward. That's it. Push through the heel, push your chest forward. Have you noticed how much easier this is? You're welcome. Uncurl, change sides. Nice and tall, turn those toes up towards you, arms in the air, breathe in, breathe out. <coughs> Pushing the chest forward. Oh yeah. Oh, bring it up. Let's go for wide legs. So yeah. This is where you put the resistance band on here, take it around the back of the leg and put it on there. Jokes, let's walk the hands forward. And uncurl, although you know me, you know I'm gonna give it a go. Bring the legs together. Sitting up nice and tall, breathe in, breathe out. Lift your chest up, try and get your elbows onto your legs. And turn to the side so you can see what I mean. Like that. And have a rock. Back to the centre, let your head go down. And uncurl, lift your chest. Both hands on the right, lift up and then look at the wall behind you. So you get a spine twist. Take your time though. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lift in the whole time. Back around the front. Breathe in. Breathe out. Uncurl. Hands together in prayer. Breathe in. Breathe out. Namaste.